Good morning, this is Valerie from Atlantic Cruising Yachts and today I'm in the BVI and I wanted to give you a tour of um, this Lagoon 450 Sport, owner's version um, 2020 called Soggy Dog. Follow me around and uh, I'll give you a great tour. So as you can see, we are uh, right now aft and uh, looking into the cockpit. So Soggy Dog is a 450S, which is a really great model from Lagoon. Um, it offers a halfway elm, but a very spacious um, cockpit area uh, where you can entertain with a large settee um, U-shape. It has a walk around access, a nice large lounging area with a fridge. This one is, even has a cooler that will convey. So the boat was used with uh, the TMM fleet for the last few years, has been kept in really good condition. It could use maybe a few upgrades, but it's really um, a nice boat. Has a barbecue and a dinghy. I will post picture of the engine room as well, but let's start with the exterior. So I'm gonna walk around. You will notice there are a couple uh, winches aft. Um, that's for your downwind sail. Now I just went three steps up and I get to the helm, which has a two seat and all your instruments and controls are right here, your winches. Um, this one is electric. So that's for your main halyard. Another four steps up and you get to the top deck where you have a lounging area with a nice sun pad. A few solar panel on this boat for additional power. And then if you notice here, we do have a hard top uh, and I believe we do have also the enclosure for it. It's not on it currently. If I continue walking forward, um, we have a couple storage area forward, the pulpit, the trampoline have been replaced and you have a nice U-shaped settee forward as well for when you want to do a sand downer as well. Uh, we do not have a radar but that's an easy add-on. And the sail bag was replaced um, a little while ago. You will again get more details of all those features once you click on the link to see the full listing and I will take extra pictures. The cockpit has, as you can see, four steps going down, extra storage aft on both sides with your trash, cooler, so plenty of room. So I'm gonna go inside. So the interior of this boat is the lightly darker color. So we have a nice U-shaped um, galley with a double sink, very nice size sinks, microwave, your Eno stove and oven. Your fridge is here. Plenty of storage, both down below, but also above. Across, again, more storage, including a freezer. Now, sometime you can have a TV in this storage area. Right now, it's just uh, used as um, extra storage for bottles and so on. A nice large dining table inside with a little um, stool that has also storage inside. Now you have the nav station with your sound system and your VHF. Nice desk area with another stool, couple openings right here. 
Um, this boat is acid and also has some fans, but you can see the visibility is excellent from, from the, the salon. Now I'm gonna go down to the guest area and I'm starting going aft. Uh, so I'm on the port side and you can see the cabins are nice, spacious with side access on both sides of the bed, extra storage under the bed, as well as here with a nice large uh, pantry hanging. Now this is the bathroom with a walk-in shower. Now I'm going aft. So again, a nice size bed, one side access, but it's a very generous size bed, full size bed. Some bookshelves here, again, storage under the bed, extra storage here. Plenty of opening, including hatches for above. Another full size head with walk-in shower, you know the drill. I'll take plenty of extra pictures so you get a full sense, but you do have um, extra storage throughout that boat. Um, you know, very, very generous. Here you could even have it uh, with a washer dryer if you wanted to. If we're gonna go cruising. This boat, you know, with a few tweaks, could be used for liveaboard. Very, very nice. I, I used to own a very similar boat. I had a 450 Fly, which is the previous model with a full flybridge. So now we are on starboard side. I'm gonna start with the head, which has a door, and we have a full size, nice big sink, plenty of storage underneath, walk-in shower with a door, head, plenty of so storage. I mean, this, this side has so much storage, as you can see. Um, huge amount of cabinetry and hanging closet in the master cabin. It came in both dark and light color wood. Um, so this is a darker version, has a nice size desk if you're gonna be doing any kind of work while on board, if you wanna take your computer has a nice settee where you can, when you get dressed or drop your things on it, <laughs> this is really what happened. And then again, very nice open aft area. But the master cabin is beautifully and, and very open. I hope this tour gives you a pretty good sense of what this boat offers. It has lighter wood flooring but again gorgeous space if you want to go cruise if you want to use it um, with friends if you want to place it in a, possibly a second tier charter fleet this boat fits the bill so call me if you would like any more detail on this boat thank you so much for joining me